Hey guys, G Please Animations here, back again with another video. And as you guys have requested, uh, I'm gonna start doing some of my customs from start to finish. Uh, I do part of the outside noise, there's some construction going on, a little bit of wind, so if you can't hear me, I apologize. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one of my customs. This is Beast Hunter's Ratchet, who I'm going to turn into Transformers Universe Meltdown. And uh, we'll go over what he looks like and uh, all that procedure and stuff. But uh, what I typically do to start, is I prime them. So what you want to do, what I usually do, is expose as many parts as possible. Uh, open up a couple panels just to make sure I can hit as many parts as possible with the primer. Um, the way to apply it, I use this. Uh, it comes in a spray can. It's a nice even coat. And uh, I'm going to do this for you guys now, just to show you. Shake it up a couple times and start applying. Now the main reason we use primer is because when you paint the figure, you don't want any of the original colors to bleed through. Uh, like the uh, the orange you see here, the white, all that, you don't want to see that. So. Alright. That looks good for now. And with the magic of editing, we'll be back when he is dry. Okay guys, so now that this guy is dried, I let him dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, it's a little bit of wind outside, so it's going to dry up the prices a little bit more. What we're going to do now is adjust him. Uh, pardon me. Sorry for the noise, there's a little bit of uh, cars and traffic going by and whatever. But uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to change the angle on him, and we're going to spray him from a different angle to make sure we hit everything. So, shake up your spray can again, and we're just going to lightly go across it this time, since we have a coat on it already. Just like that. And with the power of editing, we are going to zoom forward to when he is dry. Hey guys, J Pierce Animations here, back again with a new video for you guys. And uh just wanted to kick off the year with a uh, video for you guys. Um the channel is past a thousand subscribers, which is pretty amazing. Uh I wanna thank you guys again for your continued support of my work and uh here's cheers to another good year. Um to celebrate a thousand, we're gonna do a couple of different things. Uh Thing one is, uh, since I've gotten this request from a lot of people doing a custom from start to finish, and uh, we're going to continue where we left off with the previous two videos, which was priming uh, Ratchet as we're turning him into Meltdown from Transformers Universe, and we're going to be uh, doing painting. Um, all of it won't be completed in this video. Uh, we have to go step by step, painting him bit by bit, and letting him dry uh, overnight, and we'll come back to him the next night. And the next night, and the next night, and the next night until he's finished. So, uh, today is going to be pretty small, but uh, after we're done with this video, it's going to be a special stop motion, and then we're going to do a contest, and we're going to be giving away some prizes. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But for now, we're just going to get on with the show. So, what we're going to do, since we have this guy basically primed up and ready to go, we're going to be, since this is the Beast Hunters Ratchet mold, we're going to be painting some of the armor stuff, so like some of the extra stuff in here, all this armor around here, this is all going to be a silver color. So, I believe this is like silver, yeah, it's like flat aluminum. Why not? Okay, looks like I need to get flat aluminum for the next video, but we can just still use from silver. This is a mostly, mainly the kind of paint I use. It's a Tamiya acrylic color, and uh, I use acrylics and enamels. Uh, I don't really have a preference. Um, kind of depends on what they have at the store and what colors I can use. So, if I can get this bottle up here, here we go. Okay. Gonna open that up just like that. I've shaken it up already. You want to shake your bottles up pretty well before you start using them. So, I'm going to be painting this on camera for you guys. 
and I try to keep my hands on camera. This setup isn't permanent. I'm trying some new stuff out. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to my traditional setup. So, we'll, we'll start right here. And we're just gonna paint. Now most of my figures I do hand paint. It's very rare that I just spray on a paint job. Um, it's very rare that I have a character that's just one solid color that requires that, so... We are just going to hand paint this guy all the way through. And typically when you uh, hand paint or even spray paint, you want to use multiple coats. Uh, the first coat is not going to get it most of the time. Uh, it's going to come out looking pretty dry. Well, dry isn't the word I want to use, but the color won't be as bright as it can be. So you want to use multiple coats. Make sure I'm getting this all on camera. Don't want to miss anything. Let's get up here. Just like that. Nice, even coats. And we'll maybe do this twice. Two more times, maybe. Once we let this dry tonight, and then come back and do it again. But this won't be the only color we're applying, so we're not doing one color at a time per night. We want to do this as quickly, but efficiently as possible. So, no rushing. That looks pretty good. Just getting all that extra armor in and adding that silver color. Let's go to the front here. Right around here. Let's get that. I also like how the silver color brings out a lot of the details in these Beast Hunters molds. It's pretty cool. This was chrome silver, it's really doing the job. Let's come around to the front. Let's just paint that entire grill. Now, normally I would wear gloves, but uh. I don't have gloves today, so we're just gonna go without. I'm sure you guys won't hate me for it. Right? Let's flip over here, let's paint this uh, nice little engine block he has right here in the middle. Now another thing I uh, I hear sometimes, especially on my Facebook page, when I show people uh, what I do when I paint, is uh, people say they don't have steady hands. But uh, that's something that comes with time. It's not really a skill, I would say. Um, it comes more with you uh, pra not well practicing, I guess per se. But uh, a steady hand is not a problem because your paint job is not going to be perfect the first time. Nor should it be. Uh, it's going to take you several coats, several attempts, and sometimes you're just going to mess up. But, ha but it happens. It's not the end of the world. Um, but it is something you can learn from. Just like that. A little bit more on here for the first coat. This is looking pretty good. But this won't be my official color. We'll just call this the base coat. That looks pretty good so far. So far. Let's just run over this grill. I may color it a different color, but let's just get all, all this colored in, just so we know. Just like that. It's a little messy, but we can clean it up. Let's get the armor back here in the back. that. Again, it might be a little messy, but it's not something we can't fix. Let's get all this nice detailed armor, which is nice by the way. I do like most of these Beast Hunters molds. You know, some of them are animal based, some of them are just uh, added armor or whatever just to make them look cooler, and I like it. Especially for stuff like this, for customs. Makes the character look very different. Let's 
focus here. Focus. There we go. Especially this back area. I'm just going to chrome all this up. And then we'll come back and add whatever we want later. But this will look really nice in this silver. So let's just do it. Let's go over all of it. We can, we can dry brush some stuff over this later. Uh, we can do anything we want to this. But for right now, let's just get some color on here. Just like that. Now, before I have any questions, uh, dry brushing is uh, a painting technique where you use as little paint as possible to paint a surface. And it's literally as if the brush is almost dry, which is where the term comes from. But I will show you, just for, just for the fun of it. Let's say I want to dry brush that window piece right there. I'll take most of this paint, brush most of it off, so it has a little bit left, and then we just go over it. That's too much paint. Let's try this one down. There we go. That's dry brushing. That's too much on that window, but you guys get the idea. It's barely there, and it almost gives like a gunmetal effect. So, that's all the armor painted. Uh, sorry for my poor dry brushing technique. We will we'll do a better job later if I make them a weapon or whatever. Right now, I'm gonna rinse out my uh, rinse out my brush in a cup of water and uh, wipe it off with a paper towel. Just to dry it off. Now, let's set a top on our paint so it doesn't dry out. Now we'll look at our work. Let's see what we have so far. Alright. Pretty good so far. We got all the armor painted just like we wanted. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Hmm. We could add another color. Um, right now I don't have another image set up for this first episode. So um, let me see what I'm looking at and uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So, there is a little bit of yellow in him um, throughout the vehicle mode as I look at the image. I'll have another image in the video somewhere, don't worry. Um, so there's yellow on the hood, there's yellow uh, throughout on the top of the vehicle, on the hood, and then a little bit on the side, but there's a, there's a stripe detail going on. So, I believe I saw there was a, a white pinstripe separating a yellow from a blue. So what we're going to do is a little test. We're going to apply a little bit of yellow right here on the hood. And then we'll call it a day for this first episode. A thousand subscribers, pay back, not pay back, but give back uh, to you guys. So again, we're going to shake the bottle up a little bit just to mix the elements that are in the paint jar. Open it up. Set it right here. And we're just gonna paint this part right here on the hood. So, here we go. Not too much paint. And. Now, when it comes to painting with light co letter colors, it is going to take more coats just to get it looking solid. Because the first time you put it on there, as you can see, it looks a little bleh. So. This is the case with white, pink, yellow, uh, 
Not so much orange, because it's uh, a little bit of a darker color, but uh, yeah, they can be a pain in the butt. But, no worries. No worries, it's all good. We're just going to do one coat for now. And it might, again, it might get a little messy, but no worries, we can we can go back and fix it. of it painted as we can. Just like that. We're gonna let that dry just like that. And we'll come back to it tomorrow. So again rinse out our brush in a cup of water. Dry it off. That's going to do it for part one of uh, Transformers Universe Meltdown from scratch, episode one. Just to show you what we did, we started with the silver here around the front, around all these armor looking parts, the engine block on the top, and the armor parts here on the side here on the back, and we painted this entire back silver as well. A nice chrome silver. There we go. And there really is some nice detail in this guy. Really do like these Beast Hunter scrolls. So, that being said, we're going to let this guy dry off and we will come back to him tomorrow. I do thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been somewhat of a help to you uh, with your pursuit and customizing if that's what you want to do and uh, any questions leave them down in the comment section below this has been Transformers Universe Meltdown my name is JPRS Animations thank you guys again for a thousand subscribers cheers towards a better year here in 2018 more videos more content more fun see you guys later